Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, this is probably loaded in here. I've never seen a big one into this great red thing. Ooh, fancy. Oh. Got some steps. Oh. oh god, feels good. Be on the water. But the birds in the defense posture. Oh my god, they're free. Are they gonna like attack? Alright, we're here on Lake Berryessa. Lake Comanche? Lake Comanche. No. We're on the Delta with John. We're fishing a new area. I've never been on this part of the Delta, but apparently there's fish everywhere on the Delta right now. We're gonna do our best to catch them. What are we catching them on today? Spinner baits, chatter baits, square bills. Hopefully I find some mats that I can throw something real heavy through. We're punching. Last time I was out here, only could really get bit on the chatter baits. Definitely gonna start with that. I got a frog. Frog would be cool. We're gonna keep an open mind today. Fish what looks good. Try to catch a 10 pounder. Catch a 30 pound bag between the two of us. Yes, that is the plan. Stay tuned. cast out of the way. It's like the best feeling ever. The first cast. Oh, cannot beat it. God, I saw that fish just dart out. Wow, I missed that fish and I saw him go right there. That was crazy. What? That's called a swing and a whiff. <laughs> God. It wasn't a big one. It was like a little two pounder. At least it was a punch bite on the old menace. Any bites? I lost one on the punch. But I'm down to make a move. I don't know what else is good around here. Busting out the lunch already? Yeah, breakfast. breakfast. Oh, what's for breakfast? Everything bagel with cream cheese and capers. What's for lunch? Pastrami and Swiss. Pastrami and Swiss? Let's see what I packed. Wow. I got uh, two poorly made tuna wraps with tomato, onion, and lettuce. Frank's Red Hot sauce. Frank's Red Hot makes up for the tomato. Yeah. Uh, let's go back to the chatterbait. Dude, I think I'm gonna fish my way back. I don't know. All right, man. Well, let me know how you do. Sorry for peacing out so early. Be safe on the way back. Don't get eaten by a sea lion. I won't. I'll go catch my If you catch a 10, I'm gonna slap myself. <laughs> All right, well, a little update for you guys. It's about 12 o'clock and uh, 
John and I have parted ways. He's gonna keep trekking on, keep getting further from the ramp, and I am not gonna follow suit. Today's been frustrating, I'll be honest with you guys. It's been a frustrating morning. Not just fishing wise, but I've had to deal with a few other things, and probably half the time I've been on the water, I've either been on my phone talking or sending an email, and uh, nothing huge, but things that needed to be done. So haven't really been able to focus my attention on the fishing. That being said, we're still out on the water. We're heading back towards the ramp. I'm gonna fish a few more spots, and like I always say in tournament videos especially is, you know, it can happen at any time. Just go fish, you know. I need to stop pouting. I'm being a baby about it. I'm just gonna put my head down, fish a little bit more, try to have some fun no matter what. That's the big thing. I mean, when you guys get frustrated out here, and I know we all get frustrated, including myself, like today, you know, you gotta remember, you're out here fishing. Can you beat it? Well, sure, catching, but come on now. You're fishing, you're out on the water, and uh, I don't know, if that doesn't excite you, you need to rethink what you actually enjoy in life. Fishing for me is something that I truly enjoy and am passionate about. Yeah, I don't want to change that. I'm gonna put my, my troubles, my issues aside and uh, we'll finish this day out. We'll try to catch a couple fish. I don't know, we'll see what happens. But as always, I take you guys with me every trip. Let's keep moving on, fish a few islands. We'll maybe do a little more punching. Maybe the chatterbait bite will turn on. Water's moving, so let's keep going. Well, we've learned in the past it always pays to make a couple of casts right, right at the launch. Ow, that's very nice. What a great day. Right by the marina. Yes, you do fish right by the launch. Good old Jiggy. <sighs> Guys, it's almost three o'clock. First fish of the day. <sighs> Thank you, sir. No skunk. Well, I might as well keep fishing around the marina. Not on the old jig. Oh my God, there's another one right there. Right by the launch. <laughs> guys we covered i mean my torpedo battery's dead we covered i don't know nine to ten miles today just had to go nine to ten feet fish are right here oh this is i don't know it's so funny like this has happened before like i've had a terrible day of fishing then i've caught a fish or two by the launch but not this close to the launch Dude, something smoked it. I totally missed my reel too. Did you just see me whiff? I'm like having like technical issues today. Just like not in tune with the fish. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. They are back here. They are back here. Oh my god, it's not a bad one either. Look at that. How funny is this, guys? Better call John. Freaking chunk. Letting that jig sit. Just, this is just silly. Just silly. Little Bam Miller specialty. Bass Patrol jig, Yamamoto trailer. That is going to do it for today's video. I'll make this short and sweet. You guys saw it was a struggle. Man, oh man, fished all in the water, and like I said, I was a little uh, preoccupied this morning, so I didn't have my head in it, and uh, I got frustrated. Kept fishing, and wouldn't you know, right by where we launched, caught three fish, the only three fish of the day on that jig, a little Bass Patrol jig with a Yamamoto flapping hog as the trailer. Yeah, I don't want to say I salvaged the day, but uh, definitely avoided the skunk, and I don't know. 
I'll certainly take it. Yeah, overall tough fishing. Really couldn't figure anything out. Anywho, another day of fishing in the books. Thank you for watching. Thank you for coming along. We'll see you in the next one.